Hi guys, today we're going to have a look at self-reports in research methods and this is for the OCR A2 psychology spec. Self-report methods. Um, self-reports can be used as a method in themselves or as a data gathering tool within an experiment or correlation. There are many types of self-report methods and the ones you need to know are questionnaires, sets of questions that are usually completed as pen and paper tests, interviews, uh, the participants' uh, responses may be written down on the spot or recorded using audio tape and transcribed later. There are three main types of interview that you need to know. Structured interviews. This is where the same set of questions are asked to each participant in the same order. The questions are normally written down and the interviewer works their way through them. Unstructured interview. This is where the researcher has certain topics to discuss, but these don't have to be in the same order for each participant and flows like a normal conversation. Answers can be more detailed, and interviewees can be asked to clarify their answers or go into more detail. Semi-structured interview. This is where the interviewer has a list of questions but can ask for clar clarification, which can be seen as more friendly and sociable. So now I'm just going, going to go through the strengths and weaknesses of each type of self-report method. And for questionnaires, questionnaires enable a great deal of data to be gathered from a large sample very quickly, making this a time and cost-effective method of data collection. Uh, the weaknesses are that asking the right question in the right way can prove to be difficult as the researchers have to be careful in how they frame their questions using language that the respondents will understand. Structured interview. Easier to obtain quantitative data using this method as opposed to other types of interviews, making it possible to analyse the data and draw out trends from the responses. The weaknesses are that the structural nature of this type of interview is artificial and so the respondent may not feel free to add or explain their answers. Meaning, meaning the data gathered may be limited and superficial. Unstructured interview. A lot of detailed information, often qualitative, can be gathered. It is more like a regular conversation and is therefore higher in ecological validity. Because a broad range of topics can be discussed in detail, it can be difficult to summarise and analyse the data to establish trends or to make comparisons. For a semi-structured interview, the strengths are that there is still some quantitative data given alongside qualitative data to clarify the points made. Um, the weaknesses are that the list of questions needed to be asked once again means that the setting is superficial but not to the extent of a fully structured interview, which may mean that it lacks ecological validity. So I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you made some notes as I went along, but thank you for watching and I'll be making some more videos soon, so make sure you check those out. Thank you.